Hi Pisces, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what the good Lord has for you Pisces. God, angels in universe. Hey, booga. Hey, boogie boo. What y'all got for Pisces? Can we know? Ooh, ten of wands. Burdens and blockages. King of wands. Six of wands. All of them wands. Pisces. Knight of wands. Good Moses. Four of cups. Ace of cups. All right, now I'm done. And the devil. Um, right off the bat, I feel like the, the carrot in front of the horse. I feel like some of you guys are burning yourselves out to try to achieve something that may not be achievable. I'm just going to say that because I feel like that's what this reading is going to be all about. How to get you to your goal. And I can tell you right now with all this fire, right? Um, for a lot of you, you could be acting impulsively, um, um, impatiently, trying to rush towards your goal, trying to, um, it feels like hurry up and wait. Okay. Now I feel like the reason why to an extent you're spinning your wheels and maybe nothing is manifesting as you want it to, because your heart is not your heart is not where it needs to be. Your heart is your emotional vibration, your vibrational frequency, right? So four of one, four of cups here is emotionally numb. I don't, I, I think it's possible, but I don't know if manifestation is possible. Excuse me, with a numb heart, it would be really hard to manifest something. It's almost like trying to drive and your engine is blown out. Right. Or trying to drive and you ain't got no gas or petroleum. That's what this feels like. So to an extent, 10 of wands. Yeah. If you're struggling, no wonder, no wonder you're struggling because you don't have the right. You're not, uh, you're not in the right vibrational frequency. Angels just said with this devil card here, whatever this is, you're working on, you're obsessing about it. Um, angels just said to me, greed. Ooh, I don't know who's reading that is. And, and an example of greed and obsessively, obsessively working towards something. This is a, it, I feel like it's a good example, but angels are saying this is kind of like going to nursing school, thinking that you're going to be a millionaire, right? Or going to nursing school, like, Ooh, nurses make a lot of money. Uh, nurses are also the healers in the medical field, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> right? Um, the nurses are there to help and heal and nurture, right? So why would an opposing view about money and riches and prosperity and, you know what I mean? Why would that come into place? You know, first of all, I don't think nurses get paid enough. Okay, I love me some nurses right up there with the military. No offense to doctors. I think doctors are amazing too. But after y'all cut us open, it's the nurses who come in and rub our heads and heal and talk to us and share stories and, you know, medicate. All right. All right. Don't get me started. <laughs> Six of wands. A lot of you guys are feeling stuck. You're being blocked right now. And again, you're being blocked because you're not applying any emotional energy. Um, angels just said hell bent. Yeah. With the devil card, the devil is being obsessed. So the devil is like by, by any means necessary, right? It's almost like, no, I'm going to do this no matter what, right? Thank Jesus. The King of wands is here because that is the King of stubbornness. Okay, along with the King of Wands. Actually, all the kings. I was going to say along with the King of Swords. But I feel like um, this King of Wands with the Three of Pentacles, whatever it is that you're working on or with your job or your business or whatever it is, you're, you're exhausted, you're burnt out, you're moving too fast, you're being impulsive, you're being impatient. You're not giving the proper time to some, for something to actually manifest. Another freaking wand with the six of wands. Okay. And look, 10 of pentacles is on the bottom. So we are talking about some sort of, uh, financial security or establishment Pisces. 
Um, angels are saying, as I'm starting to read these by placement, uh, currently you're probably struggling or feel stuck, stagnant, or blocked. Too many. It's like taking one step forward and 19 steps back. Um, not only that, whatever this is that you're working on or working through, it's hard. You've encountered a lot of setbacks is what I heard. King of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Um, yeah, angels are saying you're thinking faster than you're doing. That's what's burning you out. But they're also saying, oh, you doing everything yourself. Thank you. Thank you, angels. Um, Six of Wands and, and the Star card. I feel like in all honesty, Pisces, you need to take advice from somebody else. Now, when I say somebody else, I'm not saying take the advice from a page or a knight. I feel like you need to find somebody else on your stat status level, perhaps even already doing what you're trying to get done, right? Doing what you want to get done. I feel like you need to talk to other kings, other royalty who's already been where you're trying to go. That is the three of pentacles vibe, right? You need to network. You need to talk to people of like mind of like whatever. And I feel like, again, those people are going to offer you some stellar advice. The knight of wands and the five of uh, swords. Some of you guys are used to giving up. It's like, if it doesn't happen when you want it to happen, you give up and the universe. Oh, this is similar to Scorpio's reading. I get it. Um, the universe is like, wait a minute, slow down. Like, have you covered all of the corners, uh, with the five of swords, the five of swords to me is almost like, um, giving, oh yeah, giving up before something fully manifests. So you have the knight of wands here twice. You have the five of swords and also the four of cups. So you lose interest, perhaps you get bored, perhaps you go emotionally numb and it's like, then you feel defeated and then you give up. But the universe is like, no, um, I always say to people, always get back to what inspired you to start this in the first place. So as an example, if you wanted to become a doula and you're like, cause I love the babies, right? And then you started going to school or going, going through training and then you started doing, and it was just hard. It's just hard. The Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups to me is saying, no, go back to that mindset when you're like, oh, I just love the babies, right? So reintroduce love or good feeling or emotion or light energy or raising your vibration back into this process. This devil here, right? That obsessiveness that by any means necessary, but this is not happening and I got to double up on my classes and do it. That ain't going to get you nowhere. Let me say that differently. You're going to get nowhere real fast. Okay. If you're looking for financial stability, if you're looking for a career, if you're looking for something to happen over a long period of time, all this raggedy ass wand energy, rushing in, rushing out, impulsiveness, anger, high emotion energy, it's just going to burn you and your dream out. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, here with the, the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups, that's water, honey. That's water energy, but you ain't got none. Your cups are dried out, Pis Pisces. Come on now, you a water sign. Get, come on, come on now. And I feel like the reason why you're worn out and burned out is because things are happening too fast. If for some reason this is a relationship, my angels just said some of you are giving your power away. And I feel like that was for a very specific group of Pisces. You are giving your power away. Okay. Because when you look at the reading, I guess, you know, from left to right, you start out as a king, the idea, the drive, the motivation, and then somewhere along the line, you get become defeated or you get bored or you lose hope, lose faith, and you reduce yourself from the king to the knight. Right. So you're losing the battle. And you run the risk of losing the war, Pisces. Come on now, Pisces. I have Leo here, Aquarius, double Sagittarius, Pisces, Capricorn. And I'm going to put a third row down because I'm going to know what's up. Yeah, listen to your intuition. But you're not in that watery energy. You're sitting over here under a tree, just bored and lonely. 
So you're not into it. That's why things are harder. It's almost like the universe is saying you're working harder instead of smarter, Pisces. Tower moment. Okay, well, things are going to come crashing down. If but only to change your outlook. And there's your outlook. That's Pisces. That's Scorpio. That's Cancer. Okay, so there's three water signs are sitting right there and say, listen, Pisces, change your trajectory. Angels just said to me, for some of you guys, you sometimes you get so sick of being so emotional. So you, so you thought you were going to take a different route by being less emotional. Baby, if you was an Aries or if you were an Aquarius, that may work for you. But baby, you are a water sign by nature. Okay, you need to be fluid and flexible and maneuverable and, and changeable, right? Um, those other energy, all the water signs that it's almost like you're betraying yourself by thinking that you're somebody else. That's almost like a fish thinking it's a lion. No, you're a fish. You going to come out the water and try and do what? Go tackle a wildebeest and you are all of a guppy. <laughs> I can't. All right. I'm going <laughs> two of pentacles. Yeah. You need to recommit. Yeah. Look. Somebody told you, somebody gave you shit about that. Oh, you're always emotional. You're too emotional. You always, and some of you, what well, uh, you Pisces is impressionable. Some of you might've been like, oh, maybe I am too emotional. Well, you know what? I'm going to show this bitch. I ain't fucking emotional, whatever. I'm going to get this shit done. And the universe is like, Broop. no, you ain't right here. No, you ain't. <laughs> we gonna, and you're going to struggle, right? Again, that's like a, a, a guppy trying to attack a wildebeest or a hyena. Oh no, I'm gone. All right. Um, two of pentacles with the hierophant stick to what you know, stop wavering, be who you are. Okay. Because who you are will be able to get you where you need to be being somebody else. What is that saying? I think it's Mark Twain. It's like, don't ever be afraid of being yourself um, because everybody else is taken. It's like, you, you, don't have a, you don't have a choice but to be yourself. I mean, everybody else is taken. So Pisces, get back to the basics, get back on your throne, get back in your bag so you can get this, to this 10 of Pentacles. All of this obsessing about what somebody said to you in the past. Oh, you, that's why, you know, you, you, you really think you're going to get far. You're going to be successful being that emotional. You can't be emotional in business. Yes, look, you can. Okay. Right. Business as an example, being emotional. Um, give them an example. My angels just said, um, I had actually somebody trick me. They tried to sign up for a healing session and they really was trying to book, to try to get free information or trying to get a reading from me. And I scanned this person's energy and you know, number one, that was top deceit. Okay. But I scanned this young lady's energy and I was like, you know what? She really needs this information. So I read for her for maybe two to five minutes because I felt like she needed it. And, and it, it, it would help realign her onto her life purpose. Right. And I gave her the reading. I got the off the phone, right? I was pissed, but energetically I was told, no, give her what she needs. The way she got to you was highly deceitful, but since she made it through, it was because she needed to talk to you. So please give her what she needs. And I did. And that's the end of that story. Um, I have Cancer and Pisces. I have Scorpio. I have Pisces here. I have Leo, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Cancer, Sagittarius again with the Knight of Wands. Um, Taurus here with the Hierophant, Knight of Cups is Pisces Cap and Capricorn. All right, my lovely Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I'm not going to read any Oracle cards. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.